Mississippi's Outdoors. It's Super Talk Outdoors with Ricky Matthews on Super Talk Mississippi. Mississippi. Welcome back to Super Talk Outdoors. I have Cuz Strickland and Toxie Hayes from Mossy Oaks. When we went to the break, I was talking about this book called Built to Last, where these enduring, when these enduring core values are built into a company, they can this company can stand the test of time. And you know, you think about family and nature and God and outdoors and sort of what's at the base of this company called Mossy Oaks. It's amazing, really, when you think about these these values and how that's helped your company succeed. Isn't it toxic? Uh, yeah, it is. And it is. You you strike the words that I mean, every day people ask what I do and I wear a lot of hats and all, but literally I'm just trying to be sure that everything we do is around, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. And, you know, uh, we're very, very fortunate that we are completely, totally private company with no, even no outside investors other than our family. And you know, some, some partners like Cuz and Bill. Um, and so we have that freedom. We can do what we need to do. It's all about the brand and our consumer and we can make those kind of decisions. So it's a, it's a, we are definitely the gunslinging, entrepreneurial, freewheeling, you know, bunch, light on our feet and uh, willing, you know, and, and able to react quickly to things in the marketplace. But still it's, it's, it's 100% since day one been about the connection to mother earth and nature and the critters and the land you know when you looked at and, and the things that we've evolved into they're all about that i i can remember uh for sake of definition the beginning times when we were um diversifying beyond you know clothing camouflage that hunting stuff and it was you know the two things that we revealed were you know wildlife nutritional products seed you know and stuff for your wildlife and real estate and people said, you know, looked at me like I had a horn growing out of my head. What are you talking about? You're a, you're in a camouflage, you know, clothing textile business. What do you mean with real estate? That makes no sense. And and uh, seed? Are you kidding me? And I was like, my my country board logic was more like, well, without the critters, we don't have a business. And without the land and the earth up under us, we don't have the critters. So it seems to me those might be the two more important things than, you know, camouflage shirts and so forth. And I mean, from my perspective, they made the most sense in the world. In fact, some of the stuff we diversified further into were simply because we loved it so much. I mean, we sell trees. We have a, a, a pretty expansive tree nursery now, but I just love the idea and we've learned to make a living out of it. And uh, it's a really good business for us. But, you know, just think about the things that we're doing. It'll be here long after we're gone. Like my dad says, I mean, there's probably not much like planting a tree to ensure that. And so, you know, and then of course we, um, I thought about, you know, just because of my neighbor, Mr. Bill Gibson, we got into the dogs, but it was, you know, because I knew he was literally the dog whisperer and he was the right person to do it. And you start thinking, you know, this is, I know this is something we can do. We can afford it. There's a great business plan for it. It's not a lot of risk. It's right here at home. And you think about adding value to an outdoor family. And there's not much more you can do than a great dog. You think about that. <laughs> right, right. And so we did it. And, you know, the, the rest is history now. It's so popular. Damn. And, you know, even the fact that, you know, someone said, I didn't know you were in the golf business. How does that make sense? Well, I'm in the West Point business and I'm in the Mississippi business. And when you can partner with a man like Mr. George Bryan and now have the top two golf courses in Mississippi and West Point because of it, I mean, you just got to do it. And so, especially because it was at home. It, it, and, you know, it, things just come to us. Not, not like we had a master plan, but it's all connected back to that central theme. Even golf, you know, you're playing nature and uh, it just it just continues to evolve. And we, you know, we react as it appears. And uh, since we've got this team that's so committed, it's really not that hard. Uh, the last thing I'll say is forever, even from the earliest days, getting interviewed by business journal magazines or whoever, they would say, how did you pull all this off in a sleepy little town in Mississippi. And I would get so, I would almost get infuriated, but I'd catch myself and say, you know, there's no possible way I could have ever pulled this off except in a sleepy little town in Mississippi. That's the truth. And they just didn't understand that, but you know that. And that's why you're so proud to bring this show because I don't know that we could have done it anywhere else, but where we did. 
Hey, so Kyle, why don't you do this? Show that photo. This is a this is a sort of a graphic representation of the business at Mossy Oaks, and it's got all these different pieces to it. But let me tell you what let me tell you what stood out to me, Toxie, when I when I looked at this. What stood out to me was obviously sort of the uh, all encompassing aspect of it. But the thing, the part of the Mossy Oak Gamekeeper that was established in 2008, I think about your your father's inspiration. You think like conservation, land stewardship, wildlife man management, and the camaraderie that comes with outdoor pursuits. Think about all those different pieces. That's literally embedded in every single aspect of this. But the gamekeeper's part of this is is almost like it. It is almost like that is the enduring core value, isn't it? It is. It is, and Gus can speak to that. We're all the 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 whatever the top of the food chain obsession that we have is taking care of the earth and it's kind of hard to explain you know and it covers everything a lot of it is just like cuz is his biggest i can tell you right now his, his biggest obsession with his farm and all the stuff and the endless time and effort and and money he spends on that is because for a lot of reasons but number one is those grandkids and he lives for his family and that's the thing you know there's so many parts of that that mean a lot to us but you you've talked about you know your farm too there's no glue for a family like having that central place to convene and be with nature and yeah that means hunting too but you know for us like we're down at our place now and you know it's just uh, uh, you know it's not even about hunting we got the grandkids here and the family and just spending time outdoors um yeah but you're right the game part is the, probably the most defining uh piece of our brand because when you hear him talking with so much passion about this all-encompassing company I mean, I know it gives you a sense of pride. It is, it is actually amazing how fast time flies, isn't it? It is. And I, you know, I can tell you all you need to know about Toxie because he's about as real as he gets. I had a bunch of outdoor riders we did in West Point one time, and that's how we built the company. We brought the outdoor press in. And Toxie, I tell you, that's what put the second story on the office building. But I had all these yep. riders in. And we, they wanted to meet Tox, so we went to the office, and they were asking him questions. And one of them asked him about, what, what was your mission statement? And he opened his drawer, and he was going through stuff, and he, he pulled out this tiny sheet of paper with a pencil scratch on it, and he handed it to him, and he said, that's my mission statement. And what it said was a handwritten note that said, keep the team together. Now... That just came to his mind. It wasn't like that was some event for the outdoor riders. And I saw that early on. I was blessed to be able to see him and Will Primos and the passion that they had. And for some other reason, whatever reason, I had that too. I mean, it wasn't my company, but I was like, golly, I got to be a part of that because that love of the, the hunting and fishing was just instilled in me. So I've had the luxury of watching two of the greatest entrepreneurs there is, build a company out of stuff they love. So, man, you talk about divine intervention. That's that's what it was. <laughs> I talk about divine intervention all the time. But, you know, when you think about the, the conversation I had with Brad Ferris and Jimmy Primos and then, of course, Will and then you two and others like you, there are, we're lucky, aren't we, because in this state to have so many outdoor ambassadors that aren't just representatives inside the state, but literally to the nation and to the world. How important is that? You know, it's very important. When we started the television show, Toxie brought me in and said, here's what we got to do. And since I've been running a video camera, he's like, you're the guy. And I ain't scared. We'll take that on. <laughs> but, but I can remember going, when Hunting the Country hit its mark, we were the highest rated outdoor show on the national network. And I went to a production me a uh, producers meeting up there, and the fact that we were from Mississippi, uh, that didn't get us a lot of respect. But you know what? As time went on, and we we were ranked the best show again and the best show again, throwing that Mississippi card out there was something that kind of made us proud. I know it made him proud, me too, because it's like kind of enjoyed being the underdog. But uh, Miss Mississippi's always been first and foremost in our mind, I promise you.
Hey, one other one other thing, just to, one other thing, building off of something Toxic said a second ago, because you know, I was a uh, weekend before last. Last weekend we were fishing, but the weekend before last we were up at the camp uh, doing food plots. And this whole notion of, you know, the hunting part of it, certainly it's fun and it's important and you create great memories and all of that, but it's really the overall experience. I mean, it's the, I mean to me, working on the farm and doing food plots and having my, my son-in-law and his father and my grandson there with me all at the same time, man, that's what life's all about. We've got less than a minute, but just a quick comment on that, cuz. Well, I, I can't tell. I tell people all the time, Tox is going through this right now. You don't think you can love anything more than your kids and you have grandkids and you hit another gear. Uh, same, it, it's, it's pretty unbelievable and you want to expose them to all that. You really do and that's very important. When we come back, we'll build off that theme of family and friends a little bit more. This is Toxie Hayes and Cuz Strickland from Mossy Oaks. We'll see you after this break.